So since pretty much the start of this Treasure Hunter limited time event, I've been saving up these Mole Miner pails for this exact moment. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all what all I got from opening up this many Mole Miner pails. And for those of you that may be on the edge on whether or not you want to invest time grinding this event, I'm gonna be showing you all all of the limited time rewards that you can get from doing this. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Just gonna leave a friendly reminder here at the very beginning. If you find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like. And if you're new around here, consider giving my channel a chance by sticking around and subscribing. I'm dedicated to covering Fallout 76 on this channel and the support is greatly appreciated. As always though, all of that is totally up to you. Once again, just leaving a friendly reminder here at the very beginning, but yeah. I guess to start this off, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the rewards so you guys can know what all you get from these Mole Miner Pails. Because I know there are a lot of players out there that are curious. This first one that I'm gonna be going over is my favorite reward that we can get from this. And that is the Crocolis Backpack Skin. As you can see, once you learn the skin, you can craft this at an armor's workbench. And here is what it looks like. It has a little crocodile with its tongue out, poking out of the bag, and also has a safari hat on. You can also see other goodies on the bag as well, such as a canteen, binoculars, and even a lantern. All in all, this backpack is highly detailed. One of my favorite ones so far that has been implemented into the game, especially how this is a limited time reward and it doesn't require atomic points to get this. You have to just simply play the game, which, in my opinion, makes it even better. Really enjoyed getting this. I mean, you all will see later in this video when I actually do get it when opening up all these mole miner pails. I was filled with joy. Anyways, next up here is the Radstag hunting knife. As you can see, you can get a plan to craft a new styled knife and, well, here's what it looks like. What's unique about this is it has a rad stag antler as the handle. Pretty cool, although you can't get this as a legendary. Still, nonetheless, it gets the job done taking out enemies. Anyways, now I'm gonna go ahead and go over the limited time outfit plans that we can get from this. Starting off with the complete insurgent set, which is the hat plan, combined with the outfit plan. So yeah, on that note, since these are plans, keep in mind that we can craft these at armor workbenches, which would definitely be handy to distribute to players that missed out on these outfits, because there's gonna be plenty of players with these plans that will be able to just simply craft them. But yeah, anyways, here's what the complete insurgent outfit looks like. Personally, I really, really like the outfit. I'm not a huge fan of the hats, just because, well, it simply makes you bald and gets rid of your beard and anything that you have on your face. It just gives you like a clean look for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why this headwear does this. Even if you're a female character, you'll go bald wearing this hat. Could be just like a simple coding problem that Bethesda accidentally implemented with this hat. Overall though, if it didn't have that problem, the hat would be awesome. But yeah, that is one thing that makes me not wear it. But the outfit itself, once again, looks incredible. Really like this. I've actually been rocking it here lately. Anyways, the next outfit plans that we can get is the Treasure Hunter hat plan with the Treasure Hunter outfit plan. And here is what that looks like. Once again, it's having that balding issue when wearing the hat. It also gets rid of my scruff that I have on my character too. Not exactly sure what's going on with that, but overall the outfit once again looks phenomenal. Just not a big fan over how it makes your character go bald when wearing the hat. Anyways, you can also get the Marine Armor Helmet plan from this limited time event as well. And as you can see, it looks pretty nice. It's awesome to actually finally see the Marine Armor Helmet in Fallout 76. It's been a mystery for quite some time. But yeah, this is how you officially get it, guys, from this limited time event. Anyways, now let's go ahead and get into the limited time camp plans that we can get from this event. Starting off with the Circus Cage trailer. Now this takes up a lot of camp budget. Whew, a lot. That is the downfall over this camp object. I will mention that. However, it looks pretty nice as you can see. But yeah, actually my favorite thing about this Circus Cage trailer is not the trailer itself, but the door that you get with this. You can find it just by simply going right when you have the trailer pulled up in the camp category selection. As you can see, this is a double-sided door and you can place this anywhere you want in your camp. You don't have to necessarily place this on the cage trailer itself. And what's even more nice about it, it doesn't cost nearly as much budget as this freaking circus cage trailer does. My gosh, that thing costs more than a fusion generator. Put it a little bit more in perspective. Anyways, lastly up here for the limited time rewards, there's also a standing and sitting gorilla statues that you can get. As you can see, here's what they look like. I have to admit, 
they do blend pretty well up here in my treehouse camp I got going on. But yeah, that's all the rewards that we can get. Hopefully this helps finalize your decision on whether or not you want to invest time into farming all of these mole miner pails that you get from the treasure hunters. And please, by the way, feel free to use my comment section as a trading post in a sense too. Push your gamer tag in the platform that you play on if you are in search of any of these. Who knows, maybe you'll get some players that'll want to trade. But uh, yeah, now let's go ahead and get into this huge opening that I recently did over all of these mole miner pails that I gathered. And keep in mind, I didn't get all of these myself. I did have a lot of help from the community when I was live streaming. Actually, this opening that I did was during my live stream over on Twitch. Which, by the way, I'll have a link down below in the description to my Twitch. Uh, consider giving it a follow if you haven't. I do live stream Fallout 76 on there pretty consistently. Anyways, enjoy. Is everyone in here that needs to be in here? Alright, let's do this. Cool to see y'all make it. Time to open up these. Starting off with the crafted ornate mole miner pails. As you can see, I got 66 of them. And the regular ornate mole miner pails, I got 34. So that adds up to 100 high tier mole miner pails. Let's see what we get out of 100. I'll do five at a time, then check my notes real quick, see what I got. Actually, I'll do 10 at a time. Oh, crud. Oh, whoops. Okay. Accidentally opened up a regular one. So let's see what I got. Got Mounted Myler Hunter Head. Let me go ahead and learn that so that doesn't happen again. Ooh! Out of the 10, I already got the Rad Stack Hunting Knife. That's one of the limited time ones. I got a lot of plans that I already know. Too, which as you can see in the top left that's what's happening right now um, all my known plans of course start at the top of my list here a lot of uh, mounted plants oh actually I got a circus cage trailer too one of them that I've already learned but that's another limited time reward as well so I may be giving that away in stream sometime in the future just an FYI Let's keep her going. A lot of mounted heads that I've already known. A lot of mounted heads that I already know, though, so. Alright. Opening up 10 more. Boom. Let's see. Ooh! Colossus backpack. Already got. Already got. What? All I needed to do was open up 20 ornate pails and I already got the Colossus backpack right there. That's some luck. And I got another knife. I'll go ahead and check my known plans too, but man. This is what I was really wanting right here. Sweet. Alright, let's see what I got for known for the limited time stuff. So many mounted heads in this. And by the way, I've been saving up these. I didn't just get uh, six mounted Scorch Beasts. Oh, and I got another rad stack hunting knife out of opening up 10 more. That's insane. That's crazy. All right, so now since I've already gotten the Karakalis, uh backpack, let me go ahead and make that real quick. Actually, no, 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 no. Okay, so now since I got that already, I'm going to spam open now the rest of them and just show you all what I got from 100 ornate pails. I'll show you like the grand total of everything pretty much. Just spamming them right now, guys. Getting some script and caps. This is crazy. Don't freeze. Yeah, let's hope that doesn't happen. Uh-oh, starting to get a little laggy. Boom. All right, got them all opened. Jeez, I got quite a bit of script from all that, too. All right, let's see. Let's see what all I just got right there. Dang, there's so many people here. It's awesome. My Twitch stream seeing this first. Okay, three insurgent hats, three insurgent outfits, um, two treasure hunter outfit hats. Now, I've already learned the regular treasure hunter outfit. That's the reason why that's probably not popping up. So, here's the new limited time rewards that I just got. Bam, learned now, learned that now, learned that now. I'll go ahead and learn this stuff too, T45. Now, let's go ahead and check if I got a treasure hunter outfit too. Let's see what all I just got in the known plans section. Oh my gosh. Four treasure hunter outfits. 
And I got two Treasure Hunter hats. Uh, three Insurgent outfits and hats, too. It's around the same there. I didn't get another Radstack hunting knife. Ooh, I got another Safari Colossus. I got another Safari Crocolossus backpack. It's kind of a tongue twist. Oh, that's kind of a tongue twister right there. Crocolossus. Basically, I got everything I really needed out of just opening a hundred. Not just. I know a hundred ornate uh, pails is a lot. I didn't get another circus cage trailer either. So I only got one circus cage trailer, four in total of treasure hunter outfits. I got two treasure hunter hat plans. Two Safari Crocolossus backpack plans. I got two Radstack hunting knife plans. Lots of mounted heads. Lots. And I already knew these, so... Yeah. Um, one circus cage trailer plan. I know it says I already learned it. I didn't get it from th this opening right here, though. So keep that in mind. I got three insurgent outfit plans and three insurgent hat plans as well. So... Kind of similar to how many treasure hunter outfits I got, too. Well, the hat and outfit. Pretty similar. I didn't get the marine armor helmet plan, though. That seems to be more of a rare one right there. You know what? That's a good idea. Let me go ahead and make these for you guys, for those of you that don't have them, while I'm waiting for all that to stop popping up. Alright, all the treasure outfits are being dropped right here. Whoa. <laughs> and all the insurgent outfits, I'm going to drop back here. It's like piranhas. Please don't mass pick them up, guys. There you go. From opening up the ornate pails, I also got a lot of alcohol as well. That was something else. But I didn't really show that. Just really showing the limited time rewards that I get. Because I feel like that's what, you know, players are more interested in. So let's go ahead and open up the regular ones now. There's three. Crafted mole miners. And here is 29 more. Oh, come on. Fingers crossed I get the marine armor helmet plan. I still need that. That's the only one I need. It's the only one I got left. Bam. Let's see what I got. Got it! I got it! <laughs> oh! That goes to show, even if it isn't the highest tier, you can still get good stuff from the pails. That is awesome. Go ahead and learn that. So I got everything that you really need to get. I guess I opened like 130 pails and I got everything I needed. And other than that, I didn't get anything else. I think I got... Yeah, I didn't get anything else. Limited time anyways. Still the same treasure hunter outfits. Still the same with the safari croc backpack. Still the same. One rat stack hunting knife. Um, I got a bunch of new mounted heads. That's for sure. Still the same with my insurgent outfits as well. And still got only one circus cage trailer. But still. That's all I really needed right there. To complete all my limited time rewards. Oh, and let me go ahead and since I just got the uh, marine armor helmet plan. Let me go ahead and craft a bunch of those. I'll drop a bunch of those now. For y'all. Boom. That should be enough for everyone. It's right over here, guys. I dropped it. You should see the bag. It's like a bunch of piranhas on it. Nom, nom, nom. He's all right. So I'm going to be opening up 61 Dusty Mole Miner Pails. Let's see what I get out of 61 Dusty Mole Miner Pails. All right, here we go. Let's open these up. Oh, All right, let's see what I got. Couple new power armor plans. Heavy metal arms. Let's see what I got in the known category. Okay, so no new treasure hunter outfits out of that. Didn't get a safari croc backpack out of that. Nor a rad stack hunting knife. Didn't get a new circus cage trailer. Didn't get any new insurgent outfits. And didn't get a marine 
armor helmet plan either. So I didn't get none of the limited time rewards from 60 dusty mole miner pails. But I did get quite a bit of mounted heads here and stuff that I'll be dropping. On the ship, of course. But yeah, there you guys have it, everyone. It took a little over 130 mole miner pails to get all of the rewards from this limited time event. And keep in mind, 100 of those mole miner pails were the highest tier, too. So it seems like these limited time rewards are extremely rare to get. Now, I know I didn't get a standing gorilla nor a sitting gorilla plan. And the reason why, I believe, is because I already learned them. And I think once you learn them, you can't get them again. I'm assuming anyways. I mean, I'm not for sure. But that's how the Scorch Beast Queen head mount works, too. If you've already learned it, you can't get another one. I mean, who knows, though? I could have just not gotten one out of about 200 mole miner pails, which that goes to once again show that these limited time rewards are extremely rare. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video, everyone. Hope you found this enjoyable and it helps finalize your decision on whether or not you want to invest time in grinding for these limited time rewards. Um, if you found this enjoyable, by the way, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like. The support is greatly appreciated. And as always, though, that's totally up to you. Just leave a friendly reminder here at the end of the video. I'm out of here, though. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, remember to try to stay safe out there. Peace.